So if you live off grid in Canada, you know that winter brings with it three unique challenges. Okay, the first challenge is that in winter, the days are shorter, they're a lot cloudier, the sun's not as strong. So what that means is we're not bringing in as much power to charge the batteries, okay? So if you live off grid in Canada, you definitely need to rely on a generator in the winter, right? The other problem is that since it's the days are shorter, it's colder, all that other stuff, we spend more time indoors. We spend more time indoors using more power, okay? So we've got less power coming in and more power going out. Now, the third problem, and this is, um, this is, this might not be true for everybody. It's definitely true for me, and I'm sure it's true for a lot of you, is that uh, our batteries are stored in a place that's not quite as warm as, as they should be, okay? So batteries work best when they're at about 20 degrees Celsius, okay? Now, I keep my batteries in, my, in our lower level, and it's cold down here. Right now it's six degrees, so I'll just do a quick tour around so you can see what we're dealing with here. All right, so <laughs> this is the lower level of our house. And if we come over here, we'll see that the temperature is... Oh, I think it might be reversed because of the camera, but it's six degrees, okay? So that means, and, and I've got the wood still going on today because it's minus 30 outs. Well, I think that was minus 30 last night. I think it's only like minus 26 right now. But anyways, yeah, so I have to have the wood that's still on here or else it would be literally below freezing down here. All right, so what do I do to make sure that my batteries are working at maximum efficiency um, when it's cold outside? Well, let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I've got set up here. All right, so this is where I store the batteries in that box right there. And you'll see I've got a thermometer set up over here and you will see that in the big number, we got reflects the big number is 17.6. And if you, if you can see down the lower left, it says 3.0. So what that means is that out here <laughs> where the thermometer is, it's three degrees but inside where the battery is, it's seven and a half degrees. Now, the problem with living off grid is creating heat, right? So what I've done is there's my batteries. They're all covered up in a blanket, but you know, you need a heat source in there to keep it warm. So let me uh, remove the covers and I'll show you what I've got going on there. And maybe you can do something similar yourself. All right, so I've got the batteries uncovered and I don't know if you can see it very clearly, but what I've done is I've got this radiant heat film okay so here it is here it's quiet warmth radiant heat film all right so what I did is I just um, put this underneath the battery put it underneath all the batteries and then I also wrap it around the batteries and then I put the sleeping bag and a blanket on top and as you can see here I got this other thermometer right and so it's almost 20 degrees it's almost 20 degrees the battery temperature of the batteries and again if we come over here we can see that the temperature downstairs is seven degrees with 27 percent humidity so what's cool about this is like i said in the winter we have to run a generator right because we don't have enough sun coming through so whenever the generator is running and my batteries are cold i just flick this switch up here which turns on the radiant heat flooring right so, and then the other thing I did is you can see how I've got this super bright LED light wired in. So the power comes from the switch into the LED light and then through to the flooring film. The reason I put the light there is because the last thing I want to do is go to bed at night after I've turned the generator off and leave this uh, film running, you know, sucking power in my batteries all night long. So by doing it this way, um, I go outside, I turn on the generator, I come inside, this bright light shine, I go, hey, <laughs> the, the heating, heater's still on, turn that off, and, uh, and we never forget. So anyway, I, uh, I got this from Amazon. I always forget how much I pay for stuff, but uh, I don't think it was very expensive. I just got the one sheet. Now, I could, apparently you can cut it, but what I've done is I've just uh, wrapped it around, and just that extra little heat in there can't hurt. And like I say, it's done really well in... Uh, and keeping my batteries warm when it's like this morning, like it's three degrees downstairs. So anyways, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. And if you want more tips for living off grid, be sure to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.